Good morning, people, and welcome back to the channel. Today, this is the first episode of the Vietnam series, so welcome. And yes, this is my first ever time going abroad. In today's episode, I will also tell you how I get free food and alcohol at the airports. Also, guys, if you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And stay tuned to Limitless Nomad. Right now, I'm in the Kolkata or Calcutta International Airport. And yes, this is definitely one of the most beautiful airports, especially if you want to do some plane spotting. I still have one more hour to kill before my flight. My flight departs at 1.30 and it is a direct flight from Kolkata to Hanoi, which is the capital city of Vietnam. Please note that there are not many direct flights from any other airport in India. And Indigo is one of the only airports which has daily flights to Vietnam. So let's go and start our journey to Vietnam. Okay, so now I'm going to give you the best travel tip if you are traveling abroad or using flights anywhere in the world or in India. Even if it's domestic, it doesn't matter. You have to do this. So instead of spending money and eating food at the restaurants in the airport, you can get a debit card, a credit card or a forex card which will give you free access to a lounge and you can have as much food as you want, you can also have liquor. So this is the best way to save money when traveling abroad or domestic. Always get a card which will give you free access to airport lounges. And please note these cards do not cost more. I actually entered this lounge today with the HDFC card and the name of the HDFC card is called Jet Privilege which costs exactly the same amount as a normal HDFC debit card. So yes, you do not have to pay more than a normal debit card. And I know some people might think that I will just eat and then go to the airport but that doesn't work. As soon as you reach the airport you feel hungry because everything here is more expensive and as soon as you see these prices you feel hungry and you just want to have something so that's why i'm really advising you to get a card which will give you access to a lounge by using this lounge you get access to a full buffet and a lounge is a 24 7 so it doesn't matter if your flight is at midnight or 3 a.m in the morning you will always get food here or at least you will get coffee for free this is definitely worth it absolutely delicious food and 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 by the way did i mention that you also get alcohol with it it's not unlimited but yeah you do get alcohol with a card so why not get the card and by the way this video is not sponsored by anyone and by the way i'm not an alcoholic so do not worry about me I'm only drinking because this is my first ever international flight and I'm very excited. What a way to start a journey. Cheers guys. And that right there is my plane. This vessel is going to take me to Hanoi, the capital city of Vietnam. Okay, so I finally reached Hanoi. I think the name of the airport is called Noiban something. Okay, so I just completed the entire immigration process and finally entered Vietnam. It's very easy. So I will make a separate video about getting a visa to enter Vietnam. So right now the mission is to get from this airport to Hanoi. So it's around one hour away and the cheapest way is to get a shuttle bus or a public bus from the airport to the city center of Hanoi. You also can get a taxi by using Grab and it's just like Uber, it's super cheap if you are in a group of 3 or 4, this will be the best option and the fastest option. It will cost you around 10 to 15 dollars to get from the airport to your hotel or hostel whatever in Hanoi. 
and by the way i also got a sim card it costed me 9 us dollars and it was a really good offer so i couldn't say no to it so in 9 us dollars i get around 9 to 10 gb of 4g data per month and after that it's unlimited 3g or 2g data so that's not much so i can use at least use whatsapp or messenger to text my friends and also one more tip this is the best one there is a money exchange counter here which does not charge any type of commission or exchange rate it is right in the airport so do not forget to exchange your money here when you bring your us dollars just give it to them and they will give you the vietnamese dong in a very cheaper rate so by using this money exchange you can pay for your taxi or your shuttle bus from the airport to hanoi and then if you want you can exchange money in the city as well but this is actually a good option because they don't charge any type of commission or any type of fee so after you get out of the airport you will see many options to get to hanoi and there is a bus called bus number 86 which is the cheapest option to reach hanoi okay so this is the mini bus and that right there is the public bus and i am actually going to use the shuttle bus because they are going to directly drop me at my address so if i take the bus it, they will drop me into city center and then i have to take another taxi to my address where i want to go so the mini bus is going to directly drop me at my hotel room which is in teho a little bit far away from the city center in only 300 rupees so this is right now my best option for me because my hotel is in that direction but if you are going to the city center then i would suggest you take the bus okay so i forgot to mention i am not going to a hotel room i am actually staying at a friend's place i will explain the whole deal when i reach the apartment and yeah and from the airport my friend's apartment is 24 kilometers away so paying 300 rupees directly to reach my friend's apartment is the cheapest option for me and the fastest option wow what an amazing yeah, bridge that was Okay so I finally reached the apartment and this is where my friend is living so he was like okay you can stay here and this is where I'm going to stay this is my bed and this is my very very good friend Christopher cheers hello <laughs> xin chào xin chào <laughs> So by the way a little bit of history we, we met in Goa and we used to party all night together for like months yeah probably two months two months yeah, yeah. it was a great time we were next door neighbors probably yeah yeah we were next door neighbors in Goa yeah. wow and so many memories man and yeah this is the apartment i'll show you the bed this is my bed this is Christopher's there is a small kitchen over there also a TV balcony and a washing machine yeah a little bit fancy apartment and when he asked me if i could stay here i was like why not <laughs> so yeah i will give you a full tour in the next episode and that's it for today's video guys so please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can watch the full vietnam series i will be uploading a lot of videos about vietnam so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and i will see you in the next episode in the next episode i will be exploring hanoi with my friend christopher and i will tell you everything you need to know about exploring hanoi such as the places to visit in hanoi and the food of hanoi so make sure you stay tuned to limitless nomad